emergency medicine at Ames Delhi must be a very busy place for you. Uh, tell us about your experience um, as a trauma doctor, as an emergency doctor. Is it exactly like the shows we watch? You know, uh, is it as dramatic? And where do you think we're lacking? It is really exciting. First of all, I uh, thank CNN 18 to give opportunity to first time speak about emergency care and how has there been journey from casualty to emergency medicine. The right way I'll put it. So the experience is, you know, it was way back in 2002 when there was a parliament attack. And you know that all the top wigs of the country, they come to Eames. So immediately, and you know the old casualty, they usually manned by the junior most doctors. Taking care of the sickest patient, sneezing to cardiac arrest, it comes in emergency. So post parliament attack, the government thought that we had to put specialists in the emergency room, so-called erstwhile casualty. A medicine doctor, then anesthesiologist, one few orthopedicians, and medicine, that was from me. Put together in that casualty, and then the game changed. Then the game changed, then we, we thought that this is a place where you get sickest of most patients, and untrained or less trained doctors, nurses, and paramedics are there. And you have to perform in very time critical fashion for the patient to you know become well and that was the you know uh, the journey trajectory in developing a casualty to academic emergency medicine which took almost you know before me 2002 there were also, also efforts in developing emergency medicine mm -hmm. so in 2012 we got the academic emergency medicine department at Ames and like you said that what is emergency care? What is the definition of emergency care? Is anything you feel is emergency is the emergency emergency medicine, because the patient emergency is the most you know important thing one a physician has to think of when it comes to the emergency. Yes, you get a sick patient, you know, a patient who is coming with chest pain, somebody is coming with trauma, somebody is coming with bleeding everywhere, somebody is coming with a snake bite, somebody is coming with a scorpion bite. Somebody is coming only with, you know, fever, mild fever. Or somebody is coming and shouting at you, get me a medical exam done immediately. So, and then you have to manage, you know, 360 degree approach in short time. So in fi all five minutes of all emergencies is emergency medicine. Okay. Uh, India, however, lacks ICU beds at this point. There is a dearth in terms of the ICU beds. And it's not given as much importance. As the earlier doctor had mentioned, we don't even, uh, you know, they have OTs in the trauma care. Many hospitals don't. How important is the infrastructure for ICU and how much does it lack in the country right now? So I'll take, a, uh, I'll take this question in the concept what is called as the eco model. Emergency, critical care and operative care. So uh, when a patient comes to the emergency, Suppose, for example, a trauma or a pain abdomen, you know, perforated abdomen. You require immediate front line will be a system. You require a system, not only beds. So the system will save the patient, not the beds, actually. So you require a person that you have to recognize a sick condition. You yourself should say, I should seek care. Go to the doctor, number one. So number two, you have a strong emergency medical response system to take him or ambulance system to take him to the right hospital. When you come to the emergency room, you have the trained human resource should be there, you know, to uh, take care of the patient, be, I mean, preventing him from any arresting or dying. Then the surgeon comes and takes him to the OT. Or you are, then you, the patient after OT goes to the ICU. So the whole chain, and after the ICU, he goes back to the community. So the whole chain is called as emergency care system, which are all components are there. One of the important companies you talked about, about the critical care beds or ICU beds. So if you see the data which we have, which we did a study, maybe I think uh, that is a study we did, the Ames Niti Aayog study. So what we felt was there was lack of, you have almost 30% of your patients, you know, in a hospital, they are actually emergency, with emergency condition they come. And they have only, 
you know, they had only 10% of beds, you know, against a 30% of load. And you see, you can see the proportion of critical care beds we have. There is a dirt need, you know, for upgrading, upscaling the critical care beds. And let me tell you that there is an initiative. This is called an eco model. The government has taken aims and uh, the Niti Aayog and Ministry of Health and all the academia, they've taken a strong decision to create that infrastructure across the country. If you see the PM Abhim Yojana, you know, which is, you know, uh, it is for what is called a critical care blocks are coming across the country. That will help in, in addressing the critical care beds across the country. And in district hospitals also, there will be ICUs have been, you know, uh, are being upgraded to ICUs. But the main problem here is, you know, the manpower. Correct. The manpower are being trained in both emergency care and critical care. That will also help to solve the issue. Do you, uh, you were a part of the AIMS Niti Aayog gap analysis where you looked at 100 facilities. You've spoken about how ICU bed, beds, there is a dearth. But what is the one biggest system failure that uh, India is facing when it comes to ICU care? See, ICU care is, should not or be taken. Emergency. Yeah, emergency, because it is acute. You can say compendium of acute care. So the... Uh, the main findings we got was our lack of trained human resource, which is actually is the main problem. One of the main problems is trained human. Second is lack of process engineering. You know, process engineering is a problem. I'll give you just an example. If you have everything under the sun and still the system is not working or saving the patient, that means there is a lack of processes. So what we found in nutshell, if I say, train, lack of trained human resource, there was good infrastructure in many places, lack of processes were there. So if I have to, you know, uh, address this, address this, I'll work in creating an emergency care system, not systems in silos, you know. Second will be work on the improving the processes so that whether you, like it is just like having a McDonald's in Arunachal, McDonald's in, in Delhi, so that you get the same burger. Emergency care is same. You should get the same care in Delhi and in Arunachal. So that is the model, and these are all the steps. You can do it, and it can be achievable, and it's being done right now. So it's standardization of care across the country. Yes. But um, at the end of the day, do you think that would fill the gap when it comes to rural district-level hospitals vis-a-vis -vis Tier 1 urban set city centers? Yeah. Very good question is uh, the study also focused on 50 hospitals or district hospitals. You know, uh, let me tell you, if you see, in the study it will be really amazing. Also, district hospitals performed better than medical colleges in some of the indicators. So, yes, the question is strengthening emergency care in primary care is a big issue, and it should be addressed. And there is uh, almost, because 70% population goes to the district hospital. So in a mission mode also, they are being upgraded, many of them, to medical colleges. Number two, they, this, uh, there is another you know, research project going on to improve emergency and trauma care and burns care in district hospital levels. Uh, so this is being done by creating standards. So during COVID, because a lot of resource mobilization has also happened, it is improving, so suddenly improvement in equipment and supplies. The HR being skilled by various training programs for training. Uh, third, working on process engineering, creating separate programs like Ames Delhi has now, we are mentoring seven states of India to create systems. System saves life. Individual will not save life. Individual brilliance doesn't save life. Creating, creating bets doesn't save life. So we are training the team in system building. We're calling it champions of change. So we have covered Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, uh, Arunachal Pradesh, UP, uh, Leh Ladakh. So we have given a few examples, I am telling you, that we have worked on system building and is showing fruits at the grassroots, like district hospital and below. Okay. Well, Doctor, you know, I'm going to wrap up this session by asking you for an example 
if you could share a real life example from your experiences when it comes to a successful trauma care case and maybe something a leaflet out of you know all of your experiences which stands out to you maybe as a good or a bad example so the best trauma case i like to give at from aims trauma center where we had a patient where actually he had a impaled object you know which was went through and through from the chest abdomen and through and through so it came in you know media highlight you know few years back some 10 15 years back the patient was you know and he was stuck in a car he the gas cutter was you know uh, brought from the delhi metro we had to cut the car in front of the emergency department of trauma center you know take the patient there and the patient you know difficult to resuscitate because the patient did not lie down because a huge rod was there through and through and the difficult intubation means airway management the patient you know went to the ot in no time because the system is such in a place that he goes from emergency to ot within 5 minutes of arrival that is how well oil system was and all like dr dubasi said the trauma team jumped in you have in place went to the ot you know did a successful or and he went back home alive and he is now living in australia oh, wow. so that, that is, is an example of a system which works that is excellent thank you thank you very much uh, doctor for joining in and uh, giving us um, you know what we need to do in terms of improvement of trauma care and what stands out is standardization of operations so you just follow the protocol and yeah. you'll reach where you have to just one message i'd like to give sure. that this is first time the advocacy of the media platform like this for a stronger integrated emergency trauma services in the country in a mission board is a strong partner is media and advocacy and so we thank you to for inviting us also and very important is the which is going to be launched by even by uh, nationally there will be what is called a school cpr program oh. across the country that is a must yeah school cpr project it has been there studies have been done now uh, the niti are going to roll it out across the country school cpr program okay thank you thank you very much doctor